Welcome to Gun News in 5 Minutes or Less. This is brought to you by the Gun News and Reviews channel. If you've been keeping up with the Remington series of videos I've been doing, then you know most recently we took a look at some of uh, the new production Remington videos that were on display at a big box retailer near where I live and uh, thought we'd take some pictures and give some impressions about what did not appear to be uh, Remington's best effort in terms of fit and finish. I did receive uh, a call from a gentleman named Adam Ballard who works at Remington. He is uh, the director of product management and uh, he indicated that people at Remington had been looking at this video and uh, weren't all too happy with the results that had made it to the store shelves. Here's their statement. When Rem Arms acquired the prior Remington Outdoor Company firearms assets, it came with a significant amount of inventory in various stages of production, ranging from raw materials and components to complete the firearms and ready to ship. The UPC numbers and serial numbers in the video were of previous company's origin. While there was significant effort to screen those acquired products and materials, obviously some defects slipped through. You will see new Rem Arms products on the shelf in the coming months. While we may never be perfect, I assure you, we have taken many steps to not only bring the quality back to what it was 20 years ago, but to significantly improve upon it. The company, from the highest level down, are shooters and are passionate about the sport and the product. A number of you commented that perhaps some of these issues were related to parts that were left over from the Remington Outdoor Company, not Rem Arms New Production, and this was verified, so interesting to note. This, by the way, is the standard to which they are holding themselves to on their new website. Now, I mentioned to Remington that uh, the vast majority of the people that tune into Gun News and Reviews and have made positive comments about this channel have said that they like this channel because we tell it like it is and we don't pull any punches. We just come straight forward. And that's something we're always going to continue to do. So, as I mentioned before, I'm really rooting for Remington and I let them know the best way to rectify this situation is to get me some examples of an 870 Express, the Wingmaster, when it comes out, uh, as well as the 700, which is currently uh, being produced along with the 870. They couldn't tell me when they'd do this, but they did agree to do that. And of course, I'm going to bring you detailed close-ups and shooting reviews when that happens. Like I said, I'm pulling for them. So let's see if, uh, let's see if Big R can step up to the plate. For more on this and other stories, please like and subscribe. Gun News in 5 Minutes or Less.